Before we start writing any code, let's quickly recap why we were using class components. We had to use class components for the following reasons. To keep data in the state, to use lifecycle methods, and to pass props or properties from classes to functional components. However, with React hooks, we can do all this without writing class components. We have already talked about this, right? So let's begin by creating a simple counter app using class component first. Then we will rewrite this same app using React hooks. It will greatly help us understand our very first React hook called useState. Okay, so I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.